Hi, welcome to my YouTube channel. Remember to subscribe below, give us a like and share. Thank you. Today, this edition is about this cute little creature here. It is the red panda. The adorable red panda, they are wild in the forest and they are not pets. They are actually declining in populations and are endangered species. As a highly, species, highly specialized species, the red pandas they have many unique traits that set them apart, but they are also very important to global biodiversity. They have been identified as the flagship species and an indicator of ecological health of the eastern Himalayan broadleaf forest ecoregion, one of our planet's biodiversity hotspots. And this conversation, conservation space has landscape level impacts like an umbrella. The entire ecoregion, the forests and wildlife are protected when red pandas are conserved. And here it is illegal to own red pandas that belong to the forest. The red pandas are the first pandas. Here this is a fascinating fact about them. In nearly 50 years before the giant panda was discovered, here we have the red pandas, the most beautiful animal that was discovered. And the pandas, they are not related to giant pandas. This red panda's name might let you to think that its relative is the giant panda. But actually, the studies show that they are most closely related to raccoons. They are the raccoon's type. And a red panda's diet is 98% bamboos. They have to eat 20 to 30% of their body weight in bamboo. And each day. Bamboo doesn't offer much nutrition and they can only digest about 20 plus percent of it. So why do they eat it? Well, bamboo can grow rapidly and abundantly in the cloud forest where red pandas live. And because it is such a low calorie option, there isn't much competition for bamboo among local wildlife. It can be a plentiful food source for these red pandas. While bamboo makes up most of a red panda's diet, they will also occasionally eat eggs, wild eggs, insects, flowers, even birds. And they do have many names other than the first panda and the original panda, the red pandas are also known by many many names like Firefox, the red bear cat or the red cat bear. The red pandas they are kind of like cats. They have many similarities with the cats. And the red panda mothers they were built a birthing den in a hollow tree or tree stump and line it with leaves, grass, moss and tree branches to nest their young. Like a cat, the red panda moms, they use their tongue to keep their babies clean and to keep them safe. She will carry her cubs in the mouth by the neck like cats while they curl into a ball to help with transport. And mind you, the red pandas, they are carnivore. They are classified as carnivores. They are descent from the same ancestors as other carnivores, but they mainly eat bamboo. And this carnivorous tree dwelling relative of the red panda was about the size of mountain lion and the fossils of the simocoin have been found in Europe, Asia and North America. The red pandas they have six digits on their front paws. Red pandas they have enlarged modified wrist bone they use for climbing trees and grabbing the bamboo stick and tree branches. And giant pandas, they have the thumbs as well but for different reasons. They spend two thirds of the day sleeping for red pandas. They sleep up to around 17 hours per day. And they sleep in their tail. Yes, accurate and it is cute. The red pandas tails can measure from 12 to 20 inches long, almost the length of their body and they will use it 
to wrap around like a blanket in the chilly mountain habitats. Hope you like this video. Thank you.